producer and radio host, Brandon Tatum. What's going on, Black Sand? I'm so glad to be here. I'm so glad to see you guys here. I, I want to I wanna do one thing. I think it's important. We need to pray. I want everybody to bow your heads, and I want you to pray with me. Father in heaven, thank you for bringing us together, for giving us the strength, for giving us the power. We understand that all of these things can only happen through your name, through the sacrifice of your son. God, we praise you. We thank you. All of the struggles that we've been through, you've brought us through every single time. And God, we thank you. Thank you for this nation. We pray for our president. We pray for all the leaders, for the strength, for the wisdom, for the courage. We do all of these things in the name of Jesus. Amen. So now that we got the power in this place, let's talk about America. Let's talk about police in America. The men and women who wear the uniform deserve a round of applause. The men and women who leave their homes, they go out into the world not knowing what's going to happen. When I was a police officer, I had no idea every day I went out, was I going to come home or what I was going to be in a body bag. But I did it anyway because I love people. I love our community. And if you want to be something in life, you got to serve. Don't look for what somebody can do for you, but what can you do for other people? And that's what Blexit is all about. We are serving the community. It's not about me, 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 me. It's about what we're doing for other people. Our goal is to wake up as many people as we can and give them an opportunity to see the truth. It's about seeing the truth. It's about waking up. It's about understanding our position in this country. This country belongs to us just as well as everybody else. When the founding fathers documented or put in the documents, they were intended for us as well. Don't let nobody trick you out your position. Don't let nobody tell you that you're oppressed in this country. You're not oppressed in America. Oppression is a, is a mental thought. And we don't roll like that. We have power. We understand our position in Christ. We understand that whatever we want to occur, we put in the work, we work hard, we do it every time. We wake up every day with a mission, and we can accomplish. Now, I want to say this. I'm sick and tired of the media lying about law enforcement, lying about these thugs going out here, putting themselves in position to get assaulted or killed by police. Stop lying on the law enforcement officers. We need to take accountability for our own actions. Very, very simple. If you don't want to get shot by the police, don't put yourself in a position where they have to use force against you. It's not that hard, but when a cop tell you, put your hands up, put your hands behind your back, all you got to do is just do it. And you will go home safely. How do I know? Because I was a police officer. Police officers do not want to kill nobody. They don't, wanna, they don't really want no drama. All we want to do is go out, serve and protect the community, and go back home to our families. That's all we want to do. And I know that people in here understand that, but we got to spread that message to everybody else in the world. We have to. We are under attack, a psychological attack to put, put us in bondage, to separate us. I see a lot of different people out here from all walks of life. That's what this is all about. Every single one of us, we're Americans. And first and foremost, we're children of God. And then nothing can separate that. No matter where you go, no matter what you do, we're all in this together. And I want to say this, because I want to be very brief and quick, because I'm all day. I want us to run up the score. And when I say run up the score, when we go out and vote, we run up the score. I'm going to tell you a quick story. When I was playing football, we had the coldest team in Fort Worth, Texas. We had 91 players. Four of us were all Americans. And we used to kick everybody butt. And there was this one team. They were sorry. I ain't going to even lie. They were sorry. We used to whoop them every year. But we took it easy on them. We said, okay, we'll, we'll go 40 to nothing. We'll just do that and get up out of here. One day, 
Their coach decided he wanted to be slick. He wanted to cheat. He didn't want to share film with us. And my coach said, you know what? If you want to cheat, if you don't want to act with integrity, we're going to run up the score. We beat them 85 to nothing. And we ran out of time. We would have went to 100. But I, that's what we need to do in America today on November the 3rd. We need to run up the doggone score. If they want to cheat, if they want to manipulate the media, if they want to lie about the president, we're going to run up the doggone score. If they want to lie about police, if they want to defund the police and all this crazy mess, if they want to raise money and do nothing for the black community, we're going to run up the doggone score. This ain't going to be a pretty victory. We're going to run it up. No prisoners. No mercy. We're running it up. And I want everybody out here to understand that. We ain't playing no games now. Time is up. We're waking up. We're stepping out. It's time to be brave. It's time to be courageous. We're going to make history. I want you to feel that in your heart. We're going to make history. Make some noise for history. That's how we built. So from now on, that's how we built. We're going to run up the score. We're going to be courageous. We're going to tell our neighbors about this. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid of what you believe. You stand strong on that thing. And you know what? How many of these fools out here trying to protest us right now? None. You know why? Because it's a whole bunch of patriots out here ready to go. They can try one of us. If you, leave, if you leave your buddy out there, they can try one of us. They'll try you. They'll try you a little bit. Ain't nobody going to try me, but they'll try you a little bit. But when they see 2,000 people out there, they ain't going to try you because they ain't built like that. So I'm going to finish with this. I'm going to finish with this. We have to understand that our ending has already been written. I always tell the story about Wolverine. He jump in the, you know, Wolverine, he get in the fight. He always getting his butt kicked at the beginning. I'm like, bro, you got all those weapons on you, and you always losing. But then I, all of a sudden, he snap out of it, and he start kicking butt. And But what, what, what people don't realize is that the script has been written from the beginning all the way to the end. They already wrote his success already in the script. They wrote him whooping everybody in the end in the script. I want you to realize this. It's already written for us. All we got to do is live it out. All we got to do is be strong. We will win in the end. God bless you guys. Thank you.